Okay, I've gotten some requests <clears throat> for, <coughs> excuse me, things other than songs. And so that's obviously really important, so I'm going to focus on that. The first one is how to change chords quickly. And there's really no easy answer to that. The easiest way to change chords quickly is to practice playing chords all the time. And the best way to do that is to play along with music. Steve Kaufman's four hour, um, or two hour bluegrass uh, workout is something I use, I have used a lot just to build up strength in my left hand and, I don't know, execution in my right hand. But uh, here's uh, a basic tip that, that I think um, will help. Let's pretend you're, like you should always start out with the two finger chords, I think, when you learn mandolin, G, C, D, you know, that kind of thing. When we get into bluegrass, it's four finger chords. So your G all of a sudden becomes, I get that bass note in there. And you're getting that kind of thing. But let's just say it's you're getting your G, and you can check these formations anywhere on the internet that has mandolin chord stuff. But let's say you're in the G chord. Well, if you're switching up to C, you don't even have to move these fingers really, other than one string up. So it's just like G, C. And then if you're gonna go to D, you just keep remember just as they are. Two frets towards the bridge. So G. C, D, same with A, A, D, E, and that's for the major chords, so that's a little tip on that, but it's all about practice and repetition. Just sit there and play songs. Spring, was in the spring, one sunny day, Michael got left me, she went away. Practice them slow. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. That's another way. That's why the pinky is so important, to switch to that D like that. Instead of doing this, it's... Okay, there's a bunch of things, but that's just one thing to keep in mind.